Okay, now next variation. I want you to change direction of the ball. I want to see if we can go cross court and down the line with the forehand. I want to see if the ball flies. I want to see if we get out of balance or you're disciplined to stay with the grip. Okay? So I'm pretty much going to hit cross court down line, cross court down line. You don't move a lot. I play just to your forehand. Your job is to do the split step, maybe a little bit recovery to the center and follow what you have to do with the grip. Let's go, other side. I stay here to the center of the court. So remember, I want cross court down the line, not to the center. Okay, let's go. Check your grip. Very good. Very good. Very good. Take your grip. Nice. Down the line. Okay. Cross court. Down the line. Okay. Okay, a few things you can do better. Do you agree that we focus the grip to be consistent? Number three, the follow through to be consistent, stop in front, okay? And you have to be disciplined slash consistent where you hit the ball, cross court and down the line. Now, I want you to be consistent, have every shot close stand. So your feet position is identical, so you have to adjust a little bit, okay? Do you understand? Okay. So because every time you play cross, maybe it's Close stand, every time down the line, open stand, the ball flies. Let's try to be more disciplined with the fit position too. Okay. Let's go. Keep going, bend your knees. Very good, that's fine. Go cross court now, cross court. Nice, check your grip. Nice. That was tough, sorry. Let's go again. Nice, cross court. Again. Again. Do a better job to track the steps. Go move, right, left forward, and swing forward. Got it? Yeah. Talk to yourself. Right, left, hit. Check your grip. Go. Moving. Bravo. Very good. Nice. Play cross court now. Yes. Down the line. Better. The last step better. Down the line. Give better space. Cross court. Down the line, check your grip. Cross court. Did I try to trick you? What? 
or surprise you? Yes. How? By saying after doing a cross court, do another cross court. Correct. I want to see to challenge yourself if you could be stopping too early your feet or try just to get use your arm. Your feet position have, it changes last second because you're late or you get jumped or you're reaching for the ball. So I will give you both options. I give you your creativity, how to do it, okay? But sometimes I would change what the, the command. I would tell you for a cross court two times, three times, you don't know, down the line. My goal is not to trick you, my goal is to wake you up, your feet a little bit. Because sometimes you're thinking too much about the grip, you become a little bit slow and heavy with your feet. So be light, light. Turn, turn your hips. You understand? Yes. Go, baseline. Check your grip. Stay low. Very good. When you go down the line, you go a little bit too open, a little bit too soon. Stay more to the side, longer. Okay? Go down the line, and then I will tell you when to swing. When I say now, you start swinging. Now. Now. Go down the line only for now. Now, check your grip. Now. Now. You stop your feet too early. Okay, keep moving until you're here now, okay? Now. Now. Wait more. Now. Yes. Now, lower the ball by bending your knees. Now, very good. Now, right, left, hit. Very good. Right, left, hit. Very good. Talk to yourself. Very good. You're swinging and then you're stepping, okay? When I pull you wider, get faster to the ball. Yes. Come on. Better, down the line. Yes. Better step, the last step better. Yes. Give me the last step, come on. Yes. Step, step, step. Very good. Check your grip. Okay. Be more confident with the last step. Here and then swing, okay? It seems you're swinging a little bit too early. Step the last step before you swing. Step now. 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 Track the right step better. Now, good. Yes, go down the line. Yes, bend your knees. That's better. Nice. 
Very good. Do you understand? Yes. What's the difference? So, when you step, you hit the ball. Step with what? With your right foot. It makes you hit the ball earlier, and that makes you hit the ball down the line. But if you hit the ball early, you cannot go down the line. You go cross court. Well, later. Later? Yeah. Okay. The biggest part is you're more in balance. You're like controlling your body as you move. If you're going, if you step with your right, okay, correctly. But if you swing in going, you cannot go back to recover. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. You want to be a bit synchronized with your balance besides the actual grip. Okay? Okay. In most part, you redirect the ball. You can go cross, you can go down the line. But I'm looking at your recovery as well. So you have to feel comfortable to do the crossover step. You have to feel comfortable. Yes. Get quick the first step. Okay? Because if you think too much about the grip and you slow down the first step, you're late when I push you wide. Yes. Got it? Yes. Get some water. If I'm ready to position here and I move, I know the ball is caught in my forehand, I have to rotate my hip this way. And I have, if I, if after the first step, I turn my racket, I move. Then I step here. This is my right step. Then I'm here. So I have almost like square myself here. And then I'm swinging. And then I can bring it around if I want to go back. So the hip, if I'm tight with my hips, I cannot do that. If my left hip is weak, I cannot step. I have no confidence to step because my left hip or glute is weak. So by doing only open stand, yeah, it's okay, it's good. But now my body is imbalanced. I cannot decide to step and rip the ball. So I'm relying too much of my hands. And if the ball comes soft, I cannot have leverage to step up to the ball and drive it. And when I step the last step, this is not right and I'm going forward. It's not appropriate. I have to make sure my toes point to the side fence. And then my front, it can be 45 degrees or more in front. I cannot go like this either. So how I position my toes, my ankle, my knees, depends like you know the shot i'm doing so if i'm an experienced player i'm looking at the fit position of my opponent if he goes cross court down the line so i can be more quicker so what alex was having a little bit difficulty to adjust he will step he will start swinging the racket and then he will step in his mind by doing the step right just before he swing have the contact point with the ball is enough but that caused him to be a little bit moving or he will be like falling off like that so he will not be in balance so i want him to feel like the whole foot is stable on the ground and i want to see here so gravity is equally on the ground down so if he's here and starting to swing early because he's chasing the ball now I'm losing power. I'm decelerating. I want to have like force, full force rotation with my low back, my hips, and also my upper body. That's the end result on it. Which is tough because for, if your body is not prepared, you cannot accept to do that. You have to condition yourself. That's why you do fitness. You want to do fitness so you can still stay low you can still be an explosive you can still like know how to move on the course so on court fitness is as important as any other fitness you do so we strongly emphasizing like you know certain like you know footwork detail footwork on the court so is a reason to do that the plyometrics the agility the jump rope and all these the ladders is the reason we do it on the court